Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about John Jones or Cyril Gaon, the main event of UFC 285. John Jones, 26 wins, one loss uh, in one no contest. Should be should be 28 and 0. He's a minus 160 slight favorite, 35 years old, 6'4 with an 84 and a half inch reach. Cyril Gaon, 11 wins, one loss, four and one his last five fights, loss to Francis by wrestling. And then uh, knocked out uh, um, Tai Tai Tuivasa, Jesus, plus one thirty five underdog, thirty two years old, to be thirty three in a couple months. Six four same height as John Jones at the eighty one inch reach, three and a half inch reach advantage for John Jones. First time John is fighting that heavyweight, but again he's been training with heavyweights for a very very long time, so don't expect him to be crazy diminished. It's just maybe the weight and stuff. You don't know about the speed. You don't know about how he's going to carry all that weight. You just don't know. Um, but Cyril Gaon, again, the difference for me in this fight is Cyril Gaon has really, really good movement. And people keep saying, um, yeah, he has power. He has he does have power. But, again, the Tai Tuivasa one isn't a great fight to talk about that with because Tai Tuivasa is going to stand there and he's going to exchange with you. John Jones isn't going to do that. Tai Tuvasa is willing to take one, to get beat up a little bit, and then aggressively swing back. John Jones, that's not what he's going to do. I think John Jones goes in there, throws leg kicks, throws uh, body kicks, teeps, keeps the distance, and when he wants to close that distance, he has to get Cyril Gaon moving to... He has John has to make sure he's moving forward, putting the pressure on Cyril Gaon, getting him against the cage. That's where John Jones are, is going to get these takedowns. I don't expect John to get wide open in the octagon, right in the middle of the center of the octagon for John Jones. I don't think he gets a takedown like that. I think he gets takedowns against the cage. Definitely has to watch out from the elbows. Again, John can't be going punch for punch with Cyril Gaon. I think that'd be crazy. I think the speed advantage is going to be on Gaon's part, on Gaon's side. But I think John definitely, because of his IQ, definitely can get this down. And honestly, a big factor is him training with Henry Cejudo. They're going to come up with a crazy game plan and all these things. And also, I don't want to hear that Cyril Gaon talking about how he's lazy and he doesn't wrestle. There's no chance he's not wrestling at all in his uh, uh, in, in his uh, training. There's no chance he's doing no takedown defense. There's no chance he's not doing any cage work. No chance. Is he may not doing it? I don't know how much he could do anyways, except uh, obviously doing it a little bit to stay fresh and knowing how to do it, of course. But I don't want to hear that you know he's going to get steamrolled. I don't think he gets steamrolled. I do believe it probably goes to a decision, probably 3-2 Jones. I think Jones does enough with his wrestling to win this fight. And I think Jones looks good in heavyweight. But... Again, if he plays that striking game too much with God, he he can get finished. And again, that movement is going to be weird for Jones for a little while because Cyril God is a lot of in and out, a lot of side to side. Can John Jones find him when it's like that? And Cyril God does hit hard, you know, definitely. And Jones does get hit, has been hit more later in his career. And uh, I don't, but again, I don't expect John to... To do those things now, when it gets a, get, when he can pin Gon or, or circle off Gon against the cage, John Jones is really good with his elbows, with his knees, all of those things. Expect a lot of takedowns against the cage. Expect him to pick up Gon if he can get Gon down and keep him down. Find positions where Gon can't get back up. Expect John Jones to elbow the hell out of Cyril Gon. If I, I believe. It's only it's only gonna take a couple takedowns for John Jones to find that position to where he can get Cyril Gaon out of this matchup. I think a couple of them Gaon will get back up, and I think a, but eventually John Jones is gonna get Gaon down. He's gonna get in like side control. He's gonna figure out a position, and if John Jones gets into mount, expect some crazy crazy uh, pressure and some submissions from John Jones. I, I do expect John Jones to win this, but I think Cyril Gaon's movement is going to make this one a difficult one. It just depends on how how does John Jones close, uh, stop the movement. How does John Jones attack Cyril Gaon? How does John Jones strike with Cyril Gaon? <clears throat> because Cyril Gaon is going to be faster, and again, he has a lot of movement. He's really good with that. He has a really, really nice 
uh, body kick. So expect John to stay very, very tight and stay away from that body kick. I don't expect John to just stand right in front of Gon. He, he, he's going to move. He's going to move forward. And expect some knees, some nice body work, and a lot of clinching. That's where John Jones wins this fight. He's in the clinch and on the ground. But as always, guys, John Jones will be your heavyweight champion. And as always, leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. And as always, peace.